In this tutorial, we're going to create the structure of our book by using writing blocks. Choose the project you wish to work on by clicking on its icon in the My Projects page of your author dashboard. In the Project dashboard, click on the Write Edit button. To access the writing tool, just click on any of the blocks within the list. The structure of your book can be seen in the Table of Contents. From here, we can navigate between blocks or rearrange their order within our book. We can also add additional writing blocks to our book. Writing blocks are containers for images and text. How those images and text are styled depends on the writing block that you choose. The most familiar subunit of a book is a chapter. Information that comes before the main body of the work, such as introductions or prologues, is considered front matter. Large books are often divided into parts. You can indicate the beginning of each of those with a parts block. You can create sections within your chapters. You can add blank pages to your book if you need to. And you can add information that comes after the main body of your work through a back matter block. I'm going to begin by adding a dedication. I choose the dedication block, optionally add the title, and click on add. The new block automatically appears at the end of your block list. I'm going to click, drag, and drop so that the dedication appears at the top. Click on the block itself to edit and save the content. I can optionally have this dedication show up in the published table of contents. I can change the nature of this writing block as well. Perhaps I no longer want this to be a dedication block, I want it to be a chapter block or a back matter block. Now I'd like to add a recommended reading list to my book. I'm going to choose a back matter block to contain this information. Optionally add a title and click on add. Click on the block to edit. As I look at my book, I see that it is divided into two major themes. I want to indicate the start of each of these major themes by using a parts block. Optionally add a title and click on add. And drag and drop the block where you'd like it to be. I'll add a second parts block to indicate the start of the travelogue section. I'd like to add some sections to some of my chapters. I'm going to click on the chapter I wish to add a section to. I'm going to choose Section and click on Add. Notice that a new block has been created underneath the chapter that I had selected. Click on the new section writing block in order to navigate to it for editing. Like other writing blocks, you can choose to include this section's title in the published table of contents. You can also force a page break before this section. Edit the section block as you normally would edit any other writing block. I'm going to add one more section to my chapter. Click on the chapter, choose section block, and add. An additional section has been created under my chapter. I can change the position of each of these by dragging and dropping. A second way to create a section within your book is to drag and drop a chapter writing block into another chapter writing block. If I want my chapter, A Threatened Place, to become a section of the chapter Amazon Reflections, I can select it, drag it, and drop it. Notice I'm moving the block towards the right. This block is now a section of the chapter block above it. If you wish to undo this, or you wish the section to become its own chapter, select and drag the block towards the left. Notice the dotted line goes away. The block has now reverted back to a chapter block. Preview your work. Select from among the available themes which are used to format and style your book. The preview sprites give you an idea of how the various blocks are going to be organized. Choose the page size you wish to publish at and click on Preview. Let's compare the preview publication with what we've seen in the Writing Block Editor. The table of contents reflects our choices about which writing block titles will appear. This is the dedication page. Notice that the text has been automatically styled to be centered and italicized with a little fleuron underneath. Here's my acknowledgments and my introduction. These are both front matter blocks and as such, both use Roman numerals in the page numbers. Within the parts blocks, the words part one or part two, etc. are automatically added. This is a chapter block 
With this particular theme, a blank page separates the chapter title for the main chapter body. Other themes apply their own unique formatting options. In this chapter, I created two sections. We can see that the sections flow seamlessly into the main chapter body. I also included the titles of the sections in the published table of contents. Finally is my back matter block with my recommended reading list.